How are we doing, guys? Welcome back. So, last time we defeated Jamirez at the top of the uh, spire and activated the webway gate. As you can tell by the number of injuries we've got, I'm pretty sure we were like one or two bad rolls away from a wipe, which, admittedly, it was a it was a tough fight. I'll give it that, but definitely some things I could have done better during that fight had I known how it would resolve. But you know, that's the whole point of a blind play playthrough. Now, I'm assuming. This is towards the end of Act 3. Act 3 might end the second I click through this portal. However, since I don't know that for certain, I have to treat all these injuries, because, uh, you know, you just in case it matters further down the line. I, need your full I don't think I necessarily need to treat all of them, but the less I have, the better, and it's not like we're lacking Still, for these med kits to get rid of them. So, that'll have to do for the moment. Uh, level ups, let's get them done quickly while we're here. So, characteristics-wise, I think we go Perception. Yeah. And then Common Talent. I mean, it could be anything at this point. Um, actually, did we bother... Did we tick off this? Because this is the thing we're lacking in the squad quite uh, a lot in this at the moment. So that fixes up a hole in our skill sets. It's something I probably should have done more with the common talents earlier, but I was mostly focused on getting combat stat. I think if I, if when we do another playthrough, I'll be doing it probably with a lot more emphasis on things like skill bases and stuff, knowing who does what now. Obviously, we'll probably get different people in, but details, details. Uh, similar thing with you. Just shore up those holes in our skill sets. You, I think, go in intelligence here. It's nice that you now get to fully pump these out, but it's going to be awkward till I actually manage to get them all shored up. Might as well do that there. Just pick up all the advanced skills now, basically. <laughs> it's a little boring, but <laughs> hey. Got to, should have, probably should have done it earlier. Pump up fellowship more. I... The problem with her common talents is they're all really good. So there's so many of them, I don't know exactly which one I should be picking up. I could pick up advanced skills with her, but her stats are so high anyway, I'm not sure it's required. Maybe... I mean, that one would be good. Is there any that are actually just straight up better than that? I guess stacking willpower is going to be important at some point. If nothing else, it means that she's resistant to warp powers, which, you know, will help out further down the line. You, oh, you're an interesting one. How do you stack? Because we're mostly at range, but we do have some melee. We could go into full melee, but we're trying to get into heavy weapons. So I think it's... Is it ballistics? No. Yeah, yeah, actually it is, because soldier, isn't it? Here, I mean, I don't think any of the Death World stuff matters for you. Yeah. So it's probably looking down here for something more relevant. Which, I still don't know what weapons he's going to end up with exactly, is the problem. I'm looking for heavy weapons for him, but that's hard to come by at the moment. Is there a bolt weapon expert? Something I haven't really looked for at this point. You already have it. Okay, that's fine. As for skill-wise, I guess going athletics and trying to max him out there. Because he, he when he comes into the squad, he'll be replacing Abelard. I'm not sure if I'll keep him in the squad or Abelard. I think I prefer Abelard, ironically. Because we don't need the AoE damage because we have the sister. We don't need the single target damage because we have two snipers. So, I think Abelard fits better in than him at the moment. But I'll gear him, because if he does come into the squad, he will replace Abelard. That's how, typically how I do it. I have a main squad, and then if X comes in, Y goes out. So, you just train them in the same skills that are essentially replace each other. Um, here, I think it's agility. Because damage is based off demolitions, if I remember. Which, speaking of, I think I should probably start pushing you down that path. Which is a little ironic, but... See, you already have... We gave you Melter 
weapon. Do we give you flame? Is that gonna matter? Yes, because it lets you do the AoEs, but it's only losing what you you only gain on this now that they put a one AP minimum on it. You only gain on this in terms of the the cone AOE out the fla heavy flamer. The other one actually can't go any lower already. So that's, I mean, it's a prospect now that we have stupid range on it. But it is a case of do I prioritize that, or do I prioritize like demolitions? Because we definitely saw in there that there are a couple of skill checks that are higher than her skill rank and we could fail demolition which is going to be problematic i think she's okay in terms of just at the moment i don't think she needs more combat power especially in such a niche way so i genuinely think we go demolitions here Alrighty, with that all said and done, I think it's time we figure out if this is the end of Act 3 and whether I just wasted all those health kits. Not that, you know, we need to oh, miss Always some loot, apparently. I don't think it'll be much. Yeah, Dark Lance and a bunch of other stuff. Okay. Right, in we go. And the game decides it wants to save now. Okay. Why does this look like Janus? Oh, there's the end of the chapter of Kamora behind them. A long and arduous journey possible only with the help of a Xenos guide lay ahead for the rogue trader and her party. From one strange destination to the next, through unknowable environments, the mere sight of which could drive one to madness. I think this, is that the solitaire watching us escape? He's not figured out his game entirely. Despite the challenges, they managed to escape the labyrinthian webway and find their way back. Home? I say it's not it's a case the webways are all connected but where do you end up a poorly shared covenant in oh, worn cor uh, corals co uh, eyes you with suspicion I didn't even get to fully read that um yeah this is Janus interesting uh he's clutching an autogone that looks like it's one uh it's one careless reload away from falling apart the man narrows his eyes uh, are you in oi oi who you lot? You're not bandits, are you? There's a... What? Dear God, what does this man think is bandits? Upon noticing a non-human in your retina, the old man grimaces with contempt and clutches the aquila hanging around his neck. Uh, and chumming around with inhuman scum, no less. Be gone, you lackey freak. Uh, I can tell you with St. Cognius' uh, name, with St. Nicomius Keith's name, and St. Juris' name. <laughs> you can't just spam the names. That's not how it works. Uh... This is the Farsi we rescued, so... Elendir? I'm going to call him Elendir. Uh, casts a weary eye over the commoner and inquires quietly, Is this monk he possessed or simply mad? Mm, I guess the perception check is figuring out whether we're on Janus or not, which we sh I'm pretty sure we are. Um, I am the mystery of the planet. Lefana von Valenti... You think if I name the character, I should be able to say its bloody name. Uh, and require something of you. Blessed throne, you're joshing me. Her ladyship in these backwards, in these here backwards. What an honor, what a big old honor. This, the man drops to his knees, tries his best to hide the, his travesty of a firearm, pretending like he wasn't just pla pointing at your chest a moment ago. I'm just a low-born, small, humble man. I've only ever seen your lustrous visage on uh, holy icons and temples uh, of, of a capital. So who are you? I'm a scout, your ladyship. I wonder these words. I test the soil, taking great care. The old man reaches into his sack and pulls out a scratch uh, or specks with a long spike wrangled and uh, wrapped in muddy in a muddy rag. Text priest told me once every thousand steps you walk, 
thrust this mystical probe into the soil and say a prayer. Then press a small uh, sig uh, sigrun seal, basically a button. After three prayers to the other <laughs> to the emperor, then press the ruby seal. Press the off button. Uh, thus, the probe will test the land and tell us you what mir minerals dwell within. Okay. What you what do the people of Janus say about my abduction? Was there? Did some rotter abduct you? How could uh, who could perpetrate such villainy? Stealing her ladyship the nerve. We ain't heard nothing here, here on old Janus. Okay. So they've suppressed the news of my disappearance? Because I was gone for a while. Although I guess news travels very slowly. Dragona should definitely know. I don't know whether Janus would. Um, how are things in the colony? I won't shame myself by complaining. We live thanks to the God Emperor and your ladyship. We pray for health, uh, pray for your health every day. Our new masters, the Ultra Rookers, uh, Ultra, I think that's meant to be Alt Requisitors. It's just very, it looks like Ultra, so I read it that way, but it, it, I don't know. Uh, they're addicted to my bunch. They fancy, uh, fancy the learned type, though, and no good ever came, uh, comes from scholars. But on the upside, they are paying you thrones for your ser They are paying you thrones for your service. Can you believe it? I hadn't seen a uh, throne in my whole life, and they give us two for every month's work. There's this plague going around on Janus, though. It makes your hair fall out, skin go pale, and voice disappear. It turns average emperor, fear uh, emperor fearing people into right freak scum of humanity. We call folks like that wretches. Scary to look at, but to put them down. Well, we do little by little with poison. Is the governor well? Can't say I've the foggy. It's like we haven't seen or uh, even heard the governor's name. But it still beats living under the uh, under that cursed heretic. Uh, yeah, the governor who was here before. I need a shuttle and some means of contrast contact in the Astropathic Choir so I can summon my void ship here. In a jiffy, your lady's ship. Uh, please be welcome to our flying ferry. It's right over yonder in the bush. It's... It's also where our expedition's box wizard is staying. Uh, Ellen uh, uh, shoots to you with a keen look. Will your captor offer protection? I do not wish to be changing uh, changing one prison for another. The old man glances at the fast his fit. Will that chatty mug be flying with you, uh, to the capital of your lady's ship? He's got an awful big mouth. He looks like trouble. <laughs> and then you could kill him? I guess that's the dogmatic approach. Uh, or is it the heretical approach? One of the two. I could see that the, 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 the dogmatic approach managing to pull this one. Uh, yes, this is coming with me as my guest. With a frowning grimace, the common bows and mutters under Oh, this won't end well. Well, guests like those better grab uh, by all floppers and... <laughs> better grab them by the floppers and uh, to the pyre. Burn them right quick. And now we're back on the bridge. And now, presumably, we get the wrap-up. Of what the hell's gone on while we've been stuck in Kamorag. Because we must have been in there at least several weeks. I can't imagine we were in and out in a couple of days. Or something like that. Especially since, you know, we like died. At least once. Possibly multiple times. Oh god, what's Heinrich going to have to say about all this? That's going to be a problem I'm going to have to deal with. Our retinue's getting quite big, just as a note. Uh, so, High Factorum, Genus Donrock. Don uh, the high-ranking officers beam with genuine happiness. Jorak steps forward and solemnly says, Welcome to the bridge, Lord Captain. Like the rest of Q, we are overjoyed by your return and thank the Emperor for it. Crew stares in awe at terror at the, tower, uh, the giant towering over the crowd. Some make the sign of the equivalent on the chest, others clap the knees with a prayer to the God Emperor on their lips. This uh, wave of pious shocks, uh, pious shock does not seem to de uh, de discompose. Discom I feel like I'm reading that word wrong. It says discompose, right? I suppose it's meant to be knocking off your composure, but it reads wrong. Um, Ulfur, in the slightest, he just chuckles uh, into his beard and glances around curiously. Heinrich approaches. He is uh, not looking his best. It seems he has not slept in quite a while. Lord Captain, allow me to express how glad I am that you rejoined us alive and unharmed. Now, the problem I'm going to have with Heinrich is persuading him not to kill Yolette. Because, let's be honest, that's probably his number one agenda right now. 
Uh, not sure about him with this new Farseer, though. Technically, the Farseer hasn't done anything yet. So, possibly that's going to slip by. But Yolette's a different matter. Also, Agenta. Has anyone told him? That's another problem. <laughs> uh, Shireen light, uh, light my eyes. I'm overjoyed to see you amongst us once more. Did I even read Heinrich's stuff out? Uh, sorry. Uh, Lord Captain, let me express how glad I am that you've rejoined us alive and unharmed. Maybe I did. I can't quite remember. It slipped my mind. Uh, I went into all sorts of overthought. Shireen light my eyes. I'm overjoyed to see you among us once more. Truly, Exalted One is merciful for showing your way back home. I hope all the Asmags who left uh, us to lavish... Uh, languish without our Lord Captain have already become food for the warp demons. Well, I mean, food for something. Not necessarily warp demons. Uh, Lord Captain, I'm glad to see you. I've nearly lost it when you uh, up and disappeared on me. I was getting uh, by on stimulus and recap. I barely slept. All I could uh, keep... All I could... And all so I could keep listening for whispers. I didn't clue how to find you. The only other time I felt so powerless was when Lady Theodora... Oh god, Lady Fit. Oh crap. Adira and Agenda are gonna have a proper fight, aren't they? I didn't think of that one. I thought of Heinrich and his piss off at it. I didn't realize, think Adira was gonna. Because she's gonna go absolute mental at Agenda, isn't she? Oh dear. Um, well, I guess this is where the politics of the game come in. Uh, pardon me, I'm talking nonsense. Uh, first off, how much do you all know about my adoption? Let's, let's get this done and clear as to who knows what before we, um, you know, have to spill the news of several big points on them. Uh, not much, Lord Captain. All party, uh, all contact with the party was lost shortly after supposed pirates boarded the ship and abducted your compa uh, companion's kin people. We immediately sent shuttles and boarding parties to your aid, but we didn't find anyone uh, on the ship save the crew. Had all, uh, had all either been butchered or driven insane. How its games focus on your let. He knows. Damn it. Uh, his eyes burn with undistinguished hatred and a promise. The next question is inscrutable, but her eyes are turned to you and only you. <laughs> yeah, she, we are going to have to work this one quite well, aren't we? Because, um, yeah, I, I, I guess. Uh, since your leadership body was never recovered... We hoped against hope you were still alive. Alas, all our more most urgent auger uh, oper operatives never spotted anything suspicious, and thus uh, our ignominious failure to put you uh, our ignominious failure put you in dire peril. Harriet's gaze, tense and almost desperate, is focused on you, but he says nothing. For now, at least. Dare we inquire what happened to your ladyship? Yeah, I knew this was going to hit me the thing. So this is throwing your let under the bus. No, not doing that. Uh, my other server. It's between these two. This is trying to move the conversation on, but it feels very disconjoined from what an iconoclast would do. This tries to save your let at minimum. But Heinrich's gonna go nuts about it, isn't he? We'll go with this one for now, because I'm curious. I don't know what happens if you pick this one. Probably everyone hates you let more, which they already do, so. Yeah, my loyal servants, the cursed Xenos, tried to take your leader from you, but their plan has, uh, has failed. And once again, with you, are you with me? Death to the enemies of House Valencia. Show the call. Show us the culprits and we'll tear their heads off, a lot of them, then stack them next to your throne, Lord Captain. Um, Furious uh, officers grab their weapons as if eager to crush their foes who dare breach the sanctity of your person right here and now. Yeah, that's why you don't tell them about your let yet. Um, uh, okay, where was my ship all this time? Let's just figure out what they've been doing. Probably, you know, looking for us, but... And an officer's council would decide to take the ship to footfall... Where one can hear gossip of the entire expanse. Our agents tirelessly searched for information about your ladyship. Uh, had we ever heard a whisper of where you were in prison, we would immediately launch a rescue expedition. While you were away, Lord Captain, we took every effort to find you. The, uh, that resulted in a number of modifications ship that seem have significantly upgraded it. 
thanks to a favorable deal made by the uh, high, man, uh, high Factorum, our merchant guy, ships are now equipped with a state-of-the-art August system. Oh, is that the one that... Is that the one that's going to let us scan that storm? There was a storm on one of the planets we couldn't see through. So I guess that's what this is for. Uh, and directions finders from Kiva Gamma. I don't know what direction finders mean. I guess just trying to navigate maybe through like vast emptiness of space um between these two i'm probably gonna go with the second one because we have a lot to sort out and celebrating is going to put everyone well it will put other people uh like the normal crew out of it it's going to piss heinrich off so I'm probably going to go with this one. That's quite enough for uh, fawning and fussing. I wish to return my duties immediately. The group of searchers suddenly stares. Their mo mo uh, motions fr uh, frighteningly identical, even for automatons. They stare at you and say in perfect unison, Hello, numbers ha come welcome you back. We sense you have a great deal, uh, that a great deed has been done. A vivid imprint on existence. You did something very important. What was it? I escaped from a dark city of Xenos and showed them mercy. It suits you. What we see, uh, what we see in you, light and connections, without the urge to destroy. Did Noma say it correctly? Um, the server, just say what correctly. The the, the description. Uh, the server's chorus, which sounds like a single voice, falls silent. Noma appears waiting for response in eager anticipation. In eager anticipation. This is a whole servant master thing. Let's not go with this one. So we're probably the top one. I'm glad you were that you were learning to uh, to understand me, Nomus. After a long pause, it corresponds with unexpected forcefulness. Nomus, I'm glad too. We must go now. We will come speak to you. Uh, we will come speak to you later. Another pause follows. So uh, so lo that a lot the long silence becomes more piercing than a scream. Then the servitors finally break it. We felt sadness when we could no longer communicate with you, and we were worried about your fate. One can detect with the naked eye the movement uh, when Nomus leaves the bridge. The servitors stop moving into sync and uh, slowly shuffle off to their posts. Sorry about that. I was wondering who this was then, so it's just like, uh, your leadership, I highly recommend. Uh, Compro compromising information about a member uh, I must report highly compromising information about a member of your retinue namely Mistress J who uh, as it turns out is nothing of the sort but a commoner, a fugitive of the law and a deserter from the Imperial Guard I have solid, solid evidence to prove it okay well here's J's backstory um okay I want uh, this evidence better be incontro uh, incontrovertible uh, the Factorum bows and holds out a data to you. It's all here, your ladyship. We have records from the Administratum, Essentias uh, from the Department Minotaurum, uh, and much more besides. I want to know the details. I may have overlooked some nuances, but I have solid evidence that the person who we presently know as J. Harry served in the 19th Ithi Regiment and was identified as the perpetrator of numerous instances of theft and smuggling, as well as desertion. And this individual is not of noble birth, but of the lowest origins. Okay, admittedly, that's not a big deal to me, but lying probably is. Uh, how did you come to know of this? In your ladyship's absence, the virgin watching over the dynasty's treasure fell upon my shoulders. I deemed Jay the likeliest threat to the dynasty's uh, material security. He's not wrong. Uh, I had my people conduct an investigation and they uncovered a past, connect uh, past connection between Hadi, uh, an individual named by the name of Mercy, a highly influential figure in the Cabalistia mission with a dangerous reputation. Failing that the predatory interest of the Cabellas were, would pose a threat to your coffers, I began my own investigation. It was entirely reasonable to suspect collusion of some kind between uh, Hadili and Mercy. And so my suspicions were confirmed. Two were connected. It was Mercy's associates that I acquired... Uh, it was from Mercy's associates that I acquired compromising intelligence on her, uh, Hidari. I think that's a bit... Of, I'm not sure how to say her last name. Uh, I, let's just talk to Jay about it. This is gonna get awkward. 
Yeah. There's going to be a lot of awkward conversations. Uh, <laughs> shocked me, didn't you, little wannabe quester? Is, is that... That's a very different tone. I don't think I can say that in her normal tone, which is more like, shocked me, didn't it? I don't think that works. So I assume she's dropped her accent. Um, Jace voice and bearing undergo a stark transformation. Uh, biting soldiers uh, slang cuts for a typical gentle speech. Yeah, okay, it was very different. Don't miss a thing, your servants, Lafana. They're all sneakier as two. Uh, the climber grots asked to find out what they want. Uh, they, what they want to know. Mm. I think we need to talk about your past. Only if this scum sli uh, slings his hook. What? Only if this scum slings it. What's that? I, that's a saying I'm unfamiliar with. I'm assuming. He has to just explain himself? Well, your ladyship, or is it get lost? Away. I'll tell it like it is. I'm not going to try to wriggle out of it. So tell me the, your real story. So what do you want to hear, Sherin? A children's tale about a beautiful princess? A ballad about a queen of thieves? How about a new story, Sherin? Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived on a sand-covered lump of rock. And the core of that rock contained untold riches for servants of the Imperium. The girl scraped out those riches with her little hands, breaking her back and coughing up her lungs on behalf of people who had never clapped eyes upon her and who would never know her name. She did this every day until she turned 16. And then... Then his servants came and drafted the girl into the 19th Ifrit Regiment. Can you imagine? Of course, the regiment was wiped out on its first sortie. But the girl survived. The Exalted One protects. So what was next? Years serving in the Astra Militarum? Just a shitload of hard labor? And fighting? And deals? And shady connections? And new opportunities? But everything in this world ends sooner or later, Sherin. The now not-so-little girl went and fell in with the Kasbalika. She saved up a little gold, and she even indulged in excess from time to time. Until living the good life almost cost the little girl her head after her patrons got caught in an internal investigation between the Officio Prefectus and Departamento Munitorum. So the girl ran as fast as her little legs could carry her, until her eyes and the whims of fortune brought her to the expanse. A shitty story, all things considered, Sherin. You know, when she sums up like that, she makes it sound like it's no big deal. Which, admittedly, in the 40k universe, most of that is pretty common. I'll give her that. But it's just a case of, it's like, you know, the big explaining of stuff. Like, it, it felt a little, I don't know, just mundane. <laughs> I get that it's supposed to be like the unlavish story side of her, but I guess it's just, I don't know. It just fits. It doesn't fit with what I've known of the character, which is a good thing, I guess, considering that it's supposed to be a massive change in her rhetoric, mask, whatever you want to call it. But I knew you were no princess. Oh, really, Sherry? And there I thought you were quite ready to believe my time horned Tespian performance. <laughs> Do you have a family? The folks on Footfall are my only family, Sherry. The trickster twins in the rest of the rabble, plain talking and loyal as dogs. And sometimes as dull as the pommel of a worn out blade. So you used to be in the Imperial Guard? Corporal Heidari reporting for duty, ma'am. I've had enough of the Astra Militarum shit to last a lifetime, Sherin. And my body's collected enough souvenirs from run ins with Xenos and heretics to last two lifetimes. Except when it comes to the Guard. There's no such thing as used to be. That wretched life sank its claws into me good. But that also means I remember what it's like to be a small, shaking, insignificant pawn. And that's why I appreciate what I have now, all the more. How'd you get involved with the Balaka? What? You think it's difficult? Once me and my fellow guardsmen snuck into the upper city in search of a good watering hole where the high and mighty of that world congregated. Another time, our regiment was sent to defend the tallest spires on a hive world. And I had an epiphany. I saw how the other half lives. And by half, 
I mean, the ones born with a diamond spoon in their mouth, instead of an entrenching shovel rammed up their arse. My eyes were open to the truth, Sherry. The Imperium is full of opportunities, even for people like myself. The trick is knowing whose palms to grease, whose boots to lick, whose throat to squeeze, and whose arses to kick. I was very popular with everyone in the Guard Command, you see. I'd procure things for them, whatever they wanted. And so the Kaspalika took notice. So you're a deserter as well? I mean, that's probably going to be you know, harsh Shireen, here, but... I could still be bouncing around from one world to another, hold up on higher old ships with only venal grunts for company, if I hadn't decided I wanted more for my life. I accepted a shipment from the Kasbalika of certain chemicals. You know, for carnal pleasures and the like. Some big vig was throwing a party to celebrate his fifth decade in the service. And that's when I got the attention of the newly arrived Commissar. I was rummaging through the pockets of Astra Militarum with one hand, and shuffling the Kasbalik in cargo with the other. You can imagine what would have happened to my head had the Commissar not started with my higher-ranked patrons. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, that explains the lung implant, but what about the hand? It was orcs. <laughs> not everything I say is a lie, Shireen. <laughs> Let's just use a little... They did all this other story work guys did orcs. Okay. Uh, I see. Who the fu... Mm. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so now do we do it? So who is Mercy the Dunker... Uh, who is this Mercy uh, has accused you of being associated with? Yeah, who is this Mercy that Dunker has been uh, accused, uh, accused you of associating with? We knew each other once. He helped me make the move to the Expanse and establish my first connections. Uh, but that's an old story I prefer not to poke at if I can help it. Things are good in my life now, and I don't need mercy. About your new persona. Are you worried I'm going to start spitting on the deck and shriveling your officer's ears with my foul tongue? Don't be, Shereen. I much prefer being seen as a princess rather than a deserter. I'll continue to play the part in front of the others, but you wanted to talk frankly, so I've dropped the act. Hmm. Interesting. So you can kill her on the spot. Uh, get rid of her, basically, or just go, okay, whatever. Um, as the Iconoclast, I'm much happy to keep her on. I think Dogmatic is one of these two, but we'll, we'll cover that when we do another playthrough. So, for the moment, I think we've covered everything Return to your duties. Sir, yes, sir. Your ladyship, Sherin. I'll be here, all primed and ready to go. Hmm. Interesting. Any more sudden revelation? Oh, no, we're not done yet. <laughs> nope. But why did I think we were done? The start of the act is just going to be, like, talking for, like, two hours. Uh, Dan Cora just his jacket uh, before addressing you. Now then, Lord Captain, should we get to business? We have a number of items to go over. First and foremost, I have news about your subjects. In the time that you were gone, the servant's husband just toiled tirelessly in the service to you and for the benefit of your entire protectorate. Once word of your return reaches uh, every von Lynch's world, where the masses will be ecstatic. Number four is the expanse of the leader as merciful as you. The fanatics of the creed may whisper about the heresies and mind bludgeoning under your rule. Uh, but your benevolence has forever captured the souls of millions of ordinary subjects. The expanse is inflamed, your, la uh, your ladyship. Squadrons of smaller groups of despicable Drukari radar systems. The cult of the final dawn has emerged in full force, wrecking havoc everywhere. I don't think there's a way to reduce those two. I'm currently just reading through it. Um, trying to see if there's anything which we could have impacted in the previous act. I don't think I've read anything so far that could have been interpreted that way. Uh, we've heard rumours of fall of Cindy's uh, Prime House Cordell's world. Is that their capital world or just a regular world? I mean, I know we heard something about it in um, Kamorag, but it's a, an outrageous sacrilege uh, given how abundant and inexpensive Prometheum is there. Interesting. Strife has broken out between House Windscale and House Cordell, not surprisingly considering how they're acting at our, our inauguration. Is that what it is? I'm not sure that's the right word. Uh, chaos reigns everywhere. Only the esteemed Lord Inquisitor is trying to fight it. 
Connecting, uh, concentrating all for available forces to football, to tight, uh, tighten them into a fist, smash rampaging heretics and uh, Xenos vermin. What kind of Xenos are uh, attacking the Expanse? You carry your leadership. The squadron, uh, squadrons, both large and small, are invading the Expanse, unleashing uh, carnage on planets, taking captives by the thousand, and attacking ships. As if something pokes their nest, uh, if you will. And now they'll be lashing. Uh, now they are lashing out. Don't know who that could be. No clue at all. Um, maybe we'll have to ask them. Um, how fair the words of uh, my dynasty? The heretics' malicious acts make it difficult to maintain astrophotic uh, contact with the colonies. The cult of the Final Lord strikes everywhere, and the sleeper agents are active on every planet. On Vibos 6, mutiny uh, was crushed after a group of newly arrived prisoners succumbed to Blasphemous propaganda, but other worlds stand firm against the onslaught of uh, enemies' humanity and do not succumb to their perilous in uh, pernicious influence? Okay, that's a new word for me. Um, so the Inquisitor led the defense. Exactly. The uh, Steam Lord Inquisitor declared himself uh, Commander Dan of the Commons Expanse and issued orders to requisition troops. He made footfall his base of operation and as if as if it as it was the most log uh, logical convenient point. From there, his fleet strike uh, throughout the expanse, destroying all force of the cult founder on the abominable Drakari. He may be uh, all that currently stands in the way of the expanse, turning into ashes. When heretics laid siege to Eurus II, a hallowed force uh, forge of the Cognition fleet, Lord Inquisitor sent an enormous force. Now they and the uh, explorator squadrons recalled from the front line, stand together against the heretics in the uh, battle for the sacred planet. Okay, so there's an ongoing battle there we're probably going to be uh, get involved in. Uh, what is the problem between Insidia and Co Colinus? When the este esteemed Lord Inquisitor called upon the rogue traders to join forces, uh, Cordell uh, heeded the summons while his lordship wins a scale ignored it. Rumour has it that his refusal to find him manner and served as a pretext for a lord to declare war on House uh, Winter Scale. Okay. Winter Scale ships are being haunted, uh, hunted and worlds occupied under the pretense of uh, compelling them to submit to the Imperial Creed. Surprisingly, all this love, uh, all his love for fighting. Surprisingly, for all his love of fighting, Winter Scale is in no hurry to defend his domain. According to the uh, intercepted Alpha Medic, he and his retinue currently are on. Uh, Quintus Temma hunting down a Xenos fleet. Eldari by appearance. You know, I was liking Winter Scale. I'm a, probably about to have a fucking war with him. Interesting. Well, can't say the act start of this act has been boring. Uh, is there anything else I should know? Uh, there have been other minor developments if you wish. Uh, I'm glad to bring up to speed on the bridge. I would not want to, uh, to take any more time away from this occasion. Thank you. Report received. Lord Captain, allow me to make a request. A personal one. While we were away, uh, Sinaeus Revalves received an astropathic message from Dagonus. It concerns my family. The wisdom has been accused of uh, betraying House von Valencius. What? How is that possible? I cannot comprehend it. The worst things have served the rogue traders' dynasty loyally for generations. This is hard to admit, but I am simply crushed by the news. The accusations were leveled uh, by or on behalf of the drive stems. Am I about to just go run through them as well? I'll be honest, after taking on all those Drukari, humans don't phase me. <laughs> just get rid of the bad ones. It'd be really simple. Uh, under normal circumstances, the investigation would not have been uh, required to involve my entire family would have been... Uh, would have been, but n uh, but being of noble stock, the wise streams are uh, entitled to an ancient custom to petition the rogue traders' personal protection once in a generation. Uh, your personal protection, Lord Captain, do not decide the honour that I employ you. Abelard, Abelard, what is your family guilty? So, what if your family is guilty? Uh, then the traitors will accept their due punishment. I've never relied on my position uh, as an immunity guarantee. I will, I will not try to sway your decision as long as it's fair and balanced. Um, so it's accept or decline we're accepting, so tell them we'll take part. Uh, Abelard uh, breathes a sigh of relief and seems to grow an inch or two taller. Will do, Lord Captain. I wonder what So just something I noticed while we were in there, it is technically possible to bring Abelard out without freeing him of his, you know, 
drained years. Curious what would happen then. Uh, Adira hurriedly enters the study, shuffling and haunching her shoulders. She looks haggard. There are bags under her eyes, her hair disheveled, and her hands quiver slightly every, every few moments. With some effort, she focuses her eyes on you and forces a crooked smile. Thank you for agreeing to hear me out, Lord Captain. Here's the deal. After uh, all that happened recently, the voice in my head uh, suddenly flared up and started gabbling worse than before. Don't get the wrong idea. I'm handling them just fine, but I think I know a way to get them out, uh, to settle down a bit. I keep having the same vision over again. I'm walking down a corridor and there's uh, this door at the end. All... And I just know that right behind that door is blissful silence. All I've got to do is reach out and open it. This sounds like a freaking trap. If I've ever heard one. Uh, so I touch it with my fingers. I feel the cold rough metal. And suddenly uh, I suddenly snap out of it. And I always find myself staring at a wall in some compartment or other. I look behind me and all the other door doors on the way are open. Uh, but I've got no memory of how I got there. Well, Captain, I'll cut to church. Please help me find that door. I'm not joking. It's a life, uh, matter of life or death. My gut is, tells me there's a last chance to deal with my powers. And if I don't. Before my break, make my decision. I've got some questions. Absolutely, Captain. Ask me anything, and I'll try to run to my best. What do you think is behind the door? I have no idea. Maybe some incredible implant protects uh, pre-secret stores, or I don't know, a uh, serum that kept in the Inquisitor's vault. There's such a thing as Archaeotech, right? Plenty of it lying around. Maybe uh, some of it could help me. This sounds much more desperate than a plan, but okay. Uh, Deer is trying to maintain the facade of confidence while seamlessly pulling at hair nail uh, so hard her finger starts to ble uh, begin to bleed. Do your visions contain any clues of where to start looking? Vague ones as usual. I think I, I can hear some muffled cries of some weird birds. My head starts is sweating like it's somewhere hot. So hot with weird wildlife. I'm surrounded by rock creek. Your everyday imperial stuff, except. It reeks of burnt So it's on a burning industrial world? Okay. Sorry, that uh, that's about it. Nothing more concrete. But I think if we get close, I'll sense it immediately. Okay, so just scan the expert. We're going to have to probably go around and check every single world again, aren't we? Uh, that's going to be so annoying. Um, is the door you described similar to the door your whispers come from? No. Well, I don't know. It feels different. Uh, the one where the visions feel, from the visions, feels very, I don't know, real? I can't, uh, I can even touch it. It's definitely not an illusion. It really does exist somewhere, and trust me, neither of us want to open the other door, the whispering one. <laughs> I agree with that! I agree with that. I wonder if a heretical playthrough you could try and encourage that and just have, like, a, I don't know, I guess you could have, like, a demon toast? Trying to think of what that, that would become. It, it would be bad, don't get me wrong, but it's a heretical playthrough, so that, that's fine. Uh, I find it difficult to believe that suppressing your abilities is safe. <laughs> oh, it's really, really not. I'm sure that you've heard stories about how people tried to lock psychers away uh, for good and how those psychers would eventually go insane and explode in little pieces. But if there's a way not to, uh, no, not to shut the door completely, but to make it so that tiny crack remains, now that's a different story. I, uh, I can just feel it. If we find this thing, whatever it is, it'll be all right. But what if it's a trap? No way, it can't be. Whatever, I'll go alone. If you like, I'll just please help me get there. I have no more questions. Um, okay. This is a terrible idea. Let's go find the door. <laughs> uh, so yeah, find the door. I think there's a... The other one is more dogmatic, like, I don't trust you kind of way of doing it, but we'll go with that one. Some darkness in Deer's eyes clears, and a smile widens slightly. Thank you, Lord Captain. I knew it wouldn't uh, leave, behind, uh, leave me in a bind. As soon as I, as I sense uh, we're close, I'll let you know right away. Next. Is this Heinrich? No, it's Jay. Exalted one, bless the uh, House of Valencius with your largest lizard of spirit. Shireen, and thank you for uh, dining to speak with me. Jay turns unusually hesitant and now uh, attentively chooses her words of a moment ago. Rolled off her tongue in an uh, interruptible cascade. Here's the thing, Shireen. My network of trade representatives has been stretched too thin recently. Uh, a little... Sorry. Uh, a little shiver on dress on... The... Oh, okay. It's an interesting way of describing it. Supplies are all over the place. Orders that aren't being filled. Clients are kicking off. 
Uh, not without reason. Our rev and revenue's plummeting. They weren't bad enough. My guys running from football have been in uh, incommunicado recently. And an astrophobic message has finally come in and tell me some ash bag uh, from Smite them has captured my gang. Uh, and they're threatening to kill every last one of uh, those hard grafting whelps if I don't do what they want. Uh, and they only want one thing. My The thing we gave her. The tabular officiary in exchange for the gang's life. I'm not giving up my certificate or anything. Nor am I going to leave my guys high and dry. That's why I'm begging you for help uh, and protection. If I have to step into a cage of hand, I'd rather do it with a lion by my side. Uh, Tomorrow did uh, not say who sent the message. Three, uh, you know yourself, the after chit chat is nothing but a stream of images, thoughts, and uh, intentions. Nothing concrete. But I do not. Uh, I don't need the name or the sender. I already know it. I can smell Falco stench all over this, or if it's. Uh, or else it's uh, Val Dam's doing. Just a damn Ashbag style. Uh, okay. Could be a bluff. I mean, it's not, but okay. It could, Shireen, but I've been missing the familiar stench of the docks and the daring Arco of... Uh, the darling Octi and her bar. And even the uh, stony gaze of the exalted one that watches over you whenever you are on footfall. I'm homesick, you see. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, send a smile vanishes it, uh, leaving it behind a nakedly blank expression behind it. The one helps those who help themselves, Shri. I don't want to risk the lives of my people. Um, not sure I want to say this one. But for completeness sake, let's say it. Um, if the doctor is feeling your own uh, mangular... Uh, Magnanimity isn't falling enough, Shireen. I remind you of, of more mundane but less significant concerns. My network of cold trades is falling apart because someone threw a spanner in my well-oiled machine and there are a few uh, more for good measure. If we do not remove these obstructions, the network will not recover and all the resources and effort I've invested, uh, you have invested into my business will have gone down the drain. Fair enough. Uh, when we reach football, I will help uh, your associates. I'm looking forward to that day, Shireen, and praise be to the Exalted One for bestowing a Miserly, uh, miserly portion of haunting indifference upon your heart. What? That doesn't sound positive. Next! <laughs> oh, Heinrich, here comes trouble. Um, yeah, he doesn't book an appointment. He just comes in. Uh, the partner, uh, Heinrich, gives you a curt nod and greeting. I apologize for finding in that. I've re received news I must discuss with you face to face. You may recall that I mentioned Achilles, uh, I paused pause it before continuing. Achilles Sander was transferred into my retinue uh, by a colleague. The colleague in question is contacting She requires my immediate assistance. Who is this colleague? Also, it wasn't Achilles the one giving information to the Drukari. Don't we have a huge problem going on here? Uh, who is this colleague? Uh, Heinrich hesitates for a moment before answering. Emilia Lichtenhart, Sage the Lord Inquisitor. Tell me more about Amelia. Who is she? An acolyte who's assigned a different range of uh, objectives in the current expanse. Uh, Henrik trails off and shakes his head for him to take me. I'm still trying to hide information from you, even asking for your help. I mean, you are. Amelia is a sage, a unique acolyte in the of the Inquisition who absorbs huge amounts of knowledge and store it in her own memory, more securely than any data crypt. She entered the Lord's Inquisition retinue before I did. Uh, talking to her is a strange experience, but that is barely scratching the surface of who she is. Neither is an incredible scholar, an expert on, on the forbidden and illicit. And of course, she is a loyal servant of the Golden Throne. Um, you say talking to his own experience. What does that mean? Since birth, Amelia has been different from other people. Specialists of, from, the Inquis uh, from the Inquisition enhanced a natural gift of hyperemesia. Uh, that there are certain procedures that can be done. She creates a separate block of memory, which... She can then lock her, uh, under a code word or even overwrite with new information. She can organize her mind like a new old person arranges a box on a shelf. Okay, so it's like super mind palace stuff. Okay. One box might contain information about a recent mission on the Colexus, another uh, the latest decrees of the Lex Imperialis, another her own childhood memories. This level of compartmentation might seem somewhat insane to an untrained eye. But it's the price we paid, uh, must pay, price one must pay to an ordinary servant into the most useful tool of the Inquisition. Let me guess, she's been captured and is in a, is in a potential data leak. 
Yeah, I think that might be what's going on here. So, uh, you said the forbidden illicit. What does that entail? Amelia carries knowledge of mid uh, knowledge that is forbidden to common sense of the Imperium. She carries this knowledge within hers. I cannot, as it cannot be entrusted to the logs of cogitators. It's said before that acolytes of the Inquisition must shoulder a heavy burden to come in contact with things that can penetrate and corrupt her soul. For stages this uh, especially trying ordeal. Mia's hypermilia uh, has been enhanced so that she now remembers everything she sees, however briefly. After many years of service, she exa uh, has examined and seen enough to become an unrivaled expert in this field. You speak of her with obvious affection. Heinrich gives you a crooked smile. Okay, so that's from our... Not exactly sure which detail that comes from. Uh, Millie was something of a mentor to me. She helped me with when I had only just uh, joined the Lord Inquisitor's Circle. She taught me side techniques to maintain focus and equanimity. She trained me in the fine details of working with archives and data crypts. She gave me the chance to unwind a little in my post by playing games of regicide with her, which I imagine you lost every time because a brain box like that is basically a supercomputer. Um, you failed to mention that because uh, the Lord Inquisitor has other oper uh, agents operating in the Crow's Expanse. I didn't fail to mention it. I deliberately concealed it. <laughs> I didn't forget. I deliberately lied. What? <laughs> uh, the the location of the Inquisitor's agent could threaten not only the acolytes themselves, but also the results of their endeavours. Uh, I believe I have a clear picture of Amelia now. What was her message? Amelia's message is incomplete and distorted. It's impossible to make sense of every word. The only thing I know for certain is that an acolyte of the Inquisition is asking me to immediately go to Piton 4, a remote planet. In her message, it seems she's requesting either military support or the help of, with an evacuation. Uh, but whether, whatever precipitates this request, Mila would not make it if it weren't absolutely necessary. I know a rogue trader has more than enough matters to deal with, given the sheer amount of time we've been talking about side quests now. Um, nevertheless, I would have liked to officially request the Lord Captain's assistance in dealing with this issue. I have no authority to demand anything of House of Honor, so therefore I'm confining... Myself to request for the sake of the current expanse in the Imperium. <sighs> We've gotten from running around the city trying to keep ourselves alive to managing bureaucracy and side quests. I love it. <laughs> and I hate it at the same time. It's really annoying. Um, how did you circumvent me and acquire the information from the Apathic message? He's an inquisitor, the uh, interrogator, sorry. He can basically do whatever the, he wants. Uh, Lord Captain, a rogue trader may either be in position to challenge the Inquisitor's authority over their mind, soul, and actions. Uh, maybe in a position to challenge the Inquisitor's authority over their mind, soul, and actions, but a rogue traders after facts and box officers? Hardly. <laughs> so basically, I just, you know, went around you and, you know, didn't care. Is there any hint of exactly uh, what is threatening uh, Piton's 4? Harry says nothing for a time, then begins to speak slowly. Is it frightening? Uh, is, is he's fighting against resistance? From the avoidance of leaks and the details of the objectives uh, of specific acolytes uh, to remain a secret. All I can tell you that the primary set of the current expanse uh, was Xenos, in particular Drukara Raid's on a distinct system. A sage is ideally suited for gathering information about the chronology of this problem and finding appropriate methods for combating it. As for what Amelia is doing, specifically, I don't know. I don't even know the d any details about the world itself. Only that there are humans there. So either it's colonized or a garrison has been established there. The cult of the Final Dawn has my top priority here, and my investigation has given me to no con uh, cause to turn attention away from that. Uh, turn my attention to that planet. Uh, if I help you, what do I get out of it? Saving an inhabited world. Yeah, they're just appealing to our good nature at this point. They're not even giving us anything good. I hate it. Um, from with being the good guy in 40k, I suppose. I imagine the planet's inhabitants would be willing to part with uh, all their worldly possessions in exchange for age. Of course, you will receive whatever uh, requisitioned resources I and Amelia uh, deem not to be too dangerous or prohibited by the Holy Inquisition. Are you certain that you are asking me your help of the Second Period, not because uh, one of your own is, trouble, is in trouble? Every agent of the Golden Throne is an insignificant cog in machine uh, designed to protect the Imperium of Man. My responsibility to respond expeditiously to threats against our kind guides me every action. Uh, that same responsibility brings it. Uh, that same responsibility rarely brings with it the chance to save a fellow agent's life. I will not lie and, and say I'm not glad to have this chance today. 
Hey, interesting. Oh, also, he hasn't brought up Yolette. Who is, he's either mad at for killing Achilles or he's mad at for kidnapping us. I don't know if he knows. It's a huge problem we're going to have to deal with. Uh, it's going to kick off at some point. Uh, anyway, we, there's probably more talking to go on. So I will. Uh, I shall help you. We shall go to Piton 6 uh, and put an end to this threat. I thank you, Lord Captain. Uh, I'm confident this minor, uh, minor deviation for your primary course, that's definitely not going to be minor, uh, will help stem the spread of anarchy in the current expanse, if only slightly. At the very least, we will not be outflanked. Interesting way of putting that. Uh, I've already spoken to the navigation and provided them the coordinates to be on si uh, 4. Uh, we will set a course for it as soon as you, uh, you give the order. He's figured it out. Here comes the issue. <laughs> right, so enough Xenos. Justice will be done one way or another. So you like heretics spawn, you will not leave uh, you'll never leave the ship unscratched. The bridge is enveloped with unusual silence. Officers should be huddling in corners, looking at uh, on curiously at what is transpiring in the center. Wait, who are we talking about? Is she set he said Xenos, so I'm assuming it's Yolette or the guy we brought with us. But the fact that him, him is here, so I'm assuming it's the Farsi we brought with us. Uh, what is going on? Catching sight of the curious crew members dash to their post, leaving only the senior officers in the middle of the bridge. For how long are we going to tolerate this trait? Oh, no, we're talking about... Le... What? We're talking about your letter. Okay. How are you going to... Oh, Agenti, you do not want to take this line with me. Sorry, I just read what she said. You do not want to take this line with me. We... Yeah. Standing on thin ice, sweetie. <laughs> Uh, how long are you to tolerate this trait this uh this filth on your ship, Lafana? This foul traitor who's already dragged you into darkness once and who almost left your protectorate without its sovereign. Rogue traitor, has Aldari heresy uh, clouded your judgment? Traitor, uh, treachery always means death, either for the one, uh for the traitor or the one betrayed. You almost died in Kavora, you regret you you know what uh became of them. It's uh is it not high time justice was done? Those present nod wordlessly. Well, I know I have to shut Agenta up. Because the second we tell everybody her confession... Oh boy. Uh, now this is a fine spectacle. The human gets what she deserves. Uh, let's all watch and laugh. You like does not react to the curses being slung at her with an impetual expression. She watches the crowd before her and turns her gaze to you. <laughs> uh. Okay, so these all the bottom options are bad. So I'm trying to think through this. This is important, and I have to navigate this with extreme care. Anyone else want to share their thoughts? Yo, Captain, I will support any order you give, but to keep Azenos in your retinue, especially after everything, after everything that ha has transpired because of her, it would not be wise. The enemy of humanity have no place among humans, you know this, but death is far too merciful for sentence. What I enjoyed, enjoyed was far more terrible. Yeah, everyone's pissed at her. The hideous behaviour pattern of the Xenos entity and, the, uh, and of specimens similar to her statistically leads unfavorable, <laughs> to unfavourable and unpredictable outcomes. <laughs> Sorry, Pascal. Pascal's just neutrality in this. It's not wise. The stats say this is not good. We, we, therefore, no. You yeah, let's blankly surveys the crowd. Hmm. Okay. Not doing any of the bottom options. Let's just get that out of the way. So it's the top four. I don't like the idea of four. That would be... The problem is, you can't just go 
If you go full Iconoclast here, you cause so many rifts. That being said, it justifies things further down the line, I think. Oh, this is a tough one. Okay, so reading through of it, this is yelling... So, so this one is just corporal punishment. This might... Might... At least smooth things over with the crew. Yolette, honestly, might be okay with it. But... It feels... Like you're just pandering to the crew. And it also means a Genta's thing later is going to be absolute hell. This feels like it's going to cause a huge rift. This... The problem is... Uh, this is probably the one I would go with. But it's going to cause blowback. But I guess everything's causing blowback at the moment. So what's the difference? I think we go with this one. Because... I'm curious what happens. Uh, Dogmatic, if she's still here at this po uh, possibility, would be somewhere down here. Um, so, we'll go with this one. We'll just see how it goes. Let's face contorts and miss emotions from anger uh, and hatred to dejection and despair. But uh, soon, she musters, uh, musters courage and is stilled and barely audible says, My words will not heal the wounds of your bodies. And I still, and still I regret what had you had to endure because of me. Words. Words w w will not fix what has been done. Uh, the interrogator grasps his weapon, but he hesitates, shifting his gaze to, uh, from you to Zenus, then back. Zenus apology rings hollow. There is neither repentance nor truth to them. Yeah, we're going to have to do this the hard way. Um, disappointment uh, by the outcome of the confrontation. The officers uh, present sl uh, slow returns to their duties. Hmm. Okay, so I assume we're now just talking to Yolette in person. Are you alright? Your monkey have had it worse. I will live and the words in the uh, wounds on my soul will eventually heal. Uh, they will live too, but their souls, their souls will forever bleed painful memories. Okay, so this is the Iconoclast route. This gets more interesting. So I'm going to go with this one. Do you really not care what happened? Or are you trying to conceal your true feelings again? I'm sorry that my mistake led to everyone, uh, anyone along the path to the Dark City. I can see their pain and their rage. I understand. But words and pity will not help them. Only time, perhaps revenge, uh, which will dull their pain a little uh, for a little while. But you've taken away their chance for revenge, Alan Tuck. And now all, I, uh, all we can do is wait. They will forgive you, not all of them, not right away, but they will. Stop it, monkey. Uh, you cannot believe that, Ellen Tuck. <laughs> I put monkey in there by accident because I assume that's how she'd talk. Uh, I do not need words of comfort. The words of this monkey do not touch my soul. Only your thoughts matter. Yours and mine. It's an interesting path. Okay. This is going to be so different if I do another playthrough, just to the point. I really want to, like, fully explore what this is. Um, it's time to get back to work. Yolette nods and uh, just as elegantly before leaving. Until we meet together on top, may the darkness scatter into a myriad of new stars before you. Finally. Things to know. Cassia, I don't... Uh, Cassia knows Agenta did a confession. I don't know whether she knows what a Jensen's confession was, Heinrich definitely doesn't. That is going to be a huge deal. We might be able to win a Jenta over if, if, we just kind of like point out there were probably better ways of dealing with the uh, situation. 
but I don't know whether a gender will feel that in her because she's so dogmatic that it's like, aha, this was the right course of action. So that's going to be an interesting one. But anyway, this episode's gone on long enough. We've had more than enough thinking and story and everything. So I will leave it here and I will see you guys in the next one.